Here we're going to look at converting between the metric measurement system and the American measurement system. This is an important skill to have because um, virtually the entire world uses the metric system except the United States. Um, so we need to be able to communicate with the rest of the world in terms of our measurements. And, uh, and even the entire science community, including the science community in the United States, uses the metric system. So, um, so we need to be able to convert between these two systems at least, um, at least until uh, we're willing to give up the antiquated system of, of the American measurement system. So uh, we're going to focus on length here in this video. And we're given a lot of different um, equivalencies here to take a look at and um, to hopefully help us out. Um, one thing you might notice is um, my equal signs aren't really equal signs here. They're these squiggly equal signs. And what that means is that these are only approximations. Right? So that first one there that says uh, one mile um, that's saying one mile is approximately equal to 1.61 kilometers. So that squiggly line, anytime you see that, means approximately equal to. All right, so let's uh, start with this, um, this first example. It says convert two miles into centimeters. Now, before we um, do too much with this, let's kind of do a little bit of strategizing. So let's think about ways that we could get from miles to centimeters based on that list of approximate equivalencies. So I think we could agree one possibility would maybe to be go to miles and since centimeters, let's look at centimeters. Centimeters relates to inches, right? So if I could just turn my miles into inches, then I could use one of these to get into centimeters, right? So I could go miles, I guess, to feet. That's an, equi uh, an equivalence we have. And then feet to inches, and then inches to centimeters. That'd be one way to do it. Uh, but there is another way. I could immediately get into the metric system. So I could go from miles to, it looks like kilometers is what's available to me. But we know that once we're in the metric system, getting to any other metric unit's easy. I could go directly from kilometers to centimeters. So notice if I stay in the American system longer, I am going to have a, uh, a longer problem than if I get to the metric system right away. And in fact, that's in general going to be the strategy we want to follow, is get to the metric system as fast as possible when you are going from the American system to the metric system. So we're going to choose this strategy right here. So two miles needs to first turn into kilometers. So I know that miles need to go on bottom, kilometers need to go on top. But notice we have two options here. We have that one mile equals 1.61 kilometers and 0 0.62 miles uh, is about equal to one kilometer. So the question is which do we use? Okay. Well, the second one would put 0 0.62 down here and 1 up here. So that would mean ultimately we're going to be taking 2 divided by 0 0.62. If I use the first one, that's going to put 1 on the bottom and 1.61 on the top. And so that means I'd ultimately be multiplying 1.61 by 2. Now I think we can all agree that we would rather multiply to make a conversion than divide. And so that's why two versions are given. You'll pick uh, which one to use based on whether you're going from American to metric or from metric to American. So I definitely want to put a 1 on the bottom no matter what and a 1.61 on top. And so my miles will cancel. I can multiply these. And what I get is that 2 miles is equal to 3.22 kilometers. Right? But of course, we don't want kilometers. We want centimeters. But remember, converting 3.22 kilometers into centimeters is easy. We go to our chart in the front of our book. And we notice that in the chart, the prefix kilo is five spaces away from the prefix centi. 
and it's to the we have to go to the right to go from kilo to centi so that means I'm gonna move my decimal point to the right five places so two miles is the same as 322,000 centimeters approximately okay so let's take a look at this one let's convert three feet into centimeters now let's think about how we could do this again centimeters and inches relate so we could go feet to inches and inches to centimeters or it looks like if I want to get to the metric system right away I could go feet to meters and then meters to centimeters now in this case it's the same number of steps each time but still we want to get to the metric system as soon as possible because remember how easy it is to convert within the metric system it usually just involves moving the decimal so we will go feet to meters first I need feet on bottom meters on top so which one of these do I use well I use the one that allows me to put a one in the denominator so that would be the first one so I have one foot is 0 0.30 meters Oops, I don't need that. Sorry about that. Uh oh, I s looks like I erased my E there. I don't want that. Feet. There we go. Okay, so um, even though there's a zero here, we don't really need it. The reason they put a zero there is just to show that they're being accurate to the hundredths place. But when we actually go to multiply, it's just 3 times 0 0.3, which you would say 3 times 3 is 9 and there's one decimal place so we get 0 0.9 meters and then we go from meters to centimeters so 0 0.9 centimeters is two prefixes to the right of meters in our chart so we just go one two so that would give me 90 centimeters <laughs>